Good day, learners. Welcome back to your EMS lesson. Today we are doing lesson three and our topic for today is the accounting equation. The accounting equation is A equal to O plus L, which means assets are equal to owner's equity plus liability. This basically means the amount which is invested by the owner in the business plus money borrowed from other sources, which is liabilities, are equal to the assets that we have in the business. Now, let's look at how assets, liabilities, and owner's equity are affected by transactions. Debit entries increase assets. For example, money received by the business, stock that we have in the business, debtors, cash, cash flows, money in the bank, or purchase of an asset, which can be equipment, right? Credit entries decrease assets, which can be payments made by the business, to buy an asset or payment of expenses. This will decrease our assets. Let us move to our owner's equity. Items that decrease the owner's interest are expenses and drawings. And items that increase the owner's interest is capital contribution and income, which can be rent or commission or other income. Liabilities. Debit entries decrease liabilities. So if we are paying our creditors, our liabilities decrease on the debit side. Credit entries increase liabilities. So if we're buying more on credit, we increase our liabilities. So learners, let us move to our next page, which is page 12, where we're going to look at the list of our assets and list of our owners' equities and liabilities. So under assets, you got bank, which is the money that we have in our bank account. We got debtors, customers that buy on credit that owe us money. We got petty cash, money set aside for minor expenses. We got equipment, vehicles, land and buildings, which you guys are familiar with, that are also part of our assets, which can be computers that we use, machinery that we use, the cars that we use, the building that we are using to conduct business. Cash flows, which is money kept in the till, used for change uh, when customers pay us. Trading stock, stock that we bought um, with the aim of selling. Fixed deposit money that we fixed in the bank so that we can also earn interest. So these are all the accounts that are under our assets. We move to owner's equity. Capital contribution will affect our owner's equity. Drawings, which is money or goods taken by the owner for his or her personal use. And then we got income, which are sales, rent income, current income, interest income, commission income. That also forms part of um, owner's equity. It's money earned in the business. So we move to expenses, which are the costs of the business. We pay water and electricity. We pay um, for trading licenses. We pay stationery. We buy stationery. Service material. We also contribute to donations, wages, which we pay our workers, we pay them wages and salaries, rent expense, 
um, and petrol that we need to pay in the business. So learners, we also pay advertising costs and also for insurance. So this will also, expenses will decrease our owner's interest, while income will increase our owner's worth in the business. We move to liabilities. These are creditors. Creditors are the suppliers that we own. These are businesses that we buy on credit and we owe them money. So then loans as well. Loans can be loans that we um, borrow from the bank, money that we borrow from the bank. They form part of our liabilities. Learners, if you move to the next page, which is page 13, we have given you an example of how these um, assets, owners, equity, and liabilities are affected by transactions. We were told to analyze the information below which are the books of a society district. According to the example, show the effect of accounting equation. So for example, receive 5,000 rands for cash sales. So this will affect our asset. So our asset, which is bank, will go up by 5,000 and also our owner's equity sales will be affected. It will also increase by 5,000. So the owner's equity will also increase by 5,000. And as for liabilities, there's no effect. Learners, if you can do transactions below, and also show how these transactions affect our accounting equation, then we have to complete the activity and then corrections will be done in a class. So like number one, our first transaction is T Timber, which is the owner deposited 100,000 in the bank account of the business as capital contribution. This transaction will affect our asset, account which is bank. Bank will increase by 100,000. While owner's equity also will be affected by this transaction, which is capital. Capital will increase by 100,000 as well. So liabilities will not be affected because on this transaction, we were not told that the owner had borrowed money from the bank. So liabilities on this transaction will not be affected. Learners, please continue and record this transaction and show how does this transaction affect our accounting equation and I will therefore do corrections thereafter. For now, it's a goodbye until we meet again on lesson four.